Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom 404 page like this one using Neve's custom layouts module and the Lottie animations block from Otter. So now we are at our WordPress dashboard and the first thing you want to do is ensure that you have both Neve Pro and Otter blocks. To install Otter, go to plugins, click on add new at the top and in the search box type Otter. And it should be the first result on your page. So once you can confirm that you have order blocks installed, let's go to the custom layouts module from Neve. Let's add a new custom layout by clicking on add new at the top. And now we just want to give our layout a title. I'm going to call this 404 Lottie. Okay. Now we need to add our Lottie animation block. So I'm going to click on this plus icon and in the search box, let's type in Lottie. Let's select the block. Okay, so now we need to add our animation URL to this field. So let's go to lottiefiles.com and I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Type 404 in the search box, then press enter or return. Okay, so here we have a bunch of animations to choose from. So you can scroll through these pages to find one that you like. I recommend choosing one that matches your branding or the overall theme of your website. You can also pay attention to the words being used, such as oops or error. So just make sure you get something that works with your brand. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up to select the first animation. So we are going to roll with this broken robot. We can configure some of the animation settings right here, such as animation speed and background color. Here's an example of a background color change. You also have the option to add your own color using the hex code, but I'm going to keep the white background. Let's go up to the Lottie animation URL. We just want to click on the copy button next to this URL. Now we can go back to the WordPress editor to paste the URL in this field. Click on the embed button once you're done. Once you can see your Lottie animation, just click on the block and move over to the right hand side to configure the block settings. The trigger lets you determine under what condition the animation will play. It's set to autoplay, but we have scroll, hover or click. Let's leave it as autoplay. Let's loop the animation by turning on this option. This basically means that the animation will keep on repeating itself. Keep the number of loops at zero to make it infinite. We can move this slider to the right hand side to increase the speed of the animation or move it to the left to decrease the speed. So let's set this to about 1.2. Okay. We can also reverse the direction of the animation. So right now it's moving in a clockwise direction. We can toggle this switch to make it anti-clockwise. I think I like it better moving forward. Okay. Now let's move down to the next option, which is width. So we can set a width of about uh, 40%. And unfortunately, our animation has moved to the left. So let's click on this icon, then click align center. So now that we have our animation back in the center, we can go ahead and conduct our first preview, preview in a new tab. Okay, so I think this looks good. Now, all we need to do is add our button to the bottom here that says go back home or something. So we are going to do this right now. And by the way, you can also change the background settings for your animation by accessing this background tab. Now I have access to my default theme colors, but I'm still going to keep this white. Let's add a new button block by clicking on this plus icon, then click buttons. Now that we have a button, let's add the text. So let's say go home. Now we need this button to be centered. So let's click on this icon, then click align center. Now let's add the link. Let's copy our URL. So we just highlight everything after the slash all the way to the beginning. Copy this and paste it in this field. Then click this icon. Now let's assign our primary color. Move over to the right under styles and click on primary. Okay, so now we have our primary color set. So I think we can go ahead and preview this page one more time. Let's click on preview in a new tab. So here is our custom layout with our Lottie animation and the button at the bottom. This design is really simple. It may be good enough for you or if you want, you could add to it. So for example, you can add a new paragraph block and type a message for your visitors like the page you are looking for no longer exists. So if you do decide to add a message, you can also go ahead and center align your text. Okay. For my example, I'm not going to keep any text. So let's go ahead and remove this paragraph. Right now, this is just a custom layout, but to make it a 404 page, we need to scroll down and under custom layout settings, access this drop down menu to select 404 page. Let's also skip the expiration settings and move to the top, then click on publish twice. 
Now we can go ahead and open our website in a new tab. We would need to go ahead and type in a URL that does not exist. So I'm going to type in a few I's at the end of the URL like this. Okay. This URL definitely does not exist. And we have our 404 page, but unfortunately our button is sticking to our footer. So to fix this, we are going to go back. Let's add a new block at the bottom. Let's add a spacer block. And we can either drag this handle to adjust it or simply type in a value on the right hand side in the height field. And we can also make our animation block just about 5% smaller. So let's make this 35% instead of 40. Let's update this. This should only take a few seconds. And as soon as the update is complete, we can go back to the tab with our 404 page and reload it. Okay, so here's our animated 404 page. Let's click on this button to go back home. Perfect. So now you know how to create your own custom 404 page using the custom layouts module from Neve and the Lottie animations block from Odor. Thank you so much for watching.